Hey Clear Lake peeps, Ross England here from Clear Lake Guide Service with your report for Clear Lake for May 25th, 2023. Time is flying, half the year is almost gone. Aye, boy, I'll tell you what. Um, let's see, first and foremost, next weekend is the big Memorial Day, obviously. So I'm happy to report that as far as what I can see, there are no activities planned up here with regards to tournaments. So it's it's all yours to goof around with and play with and have a good time. And I'll tell you what, fishing pressure has been extremely light um, for a number of reasons. But bottom line is fishing pressure is light. If you got nothing else to do and you want to come up here and, and goof around on, you know, a lake that's in pretty good condition, why not? Water temperature, uh, I've seen as high as 74 in the afternoons, starting out in the oh, low, I mean, high 60s. So middle of the day, like right now, two o'clock or something like that, it's uh, 73, 74 in, in a number of the places that I've been. The thing that has suffered in the last couple of days has been water quality or uh, water clarity. The clarity has really taken a hit on the upper end of the lake anyway. And this is speaking to Lake Port, Nice, Lucerne. Uh, down below the Narrows, the little bit I've been down there, there's still some pretty clear water down there. Uh, what's happening up on this end of the lake is just uh, two things. Number one, there's pollen and some algae that's floating around on the surface that the wind blows into areas and that's kind of clouding up the water to where places that I saw since the last report I could see eight feet uh, in the last couple days I could see three at best so it's fading pretty fast at least up on the end that I've been fishing um, other areas you just you know have to kind of have to just move around a lot because somewhere that you know is dirty now might be clear tomorrow and vice versa so that's probably two levels of importance one for me i'm doing almost all of the fish that we're catching are sight fish so i need good visibility um, but with this water standing up and knowing the areas that i'm in where there were bed fish then with the stained watercolor, there should be some kind of a reaction bite. Um, I haven't thrown them, so I couldn't tell you if there's one or not. I have a feeling that probably over the next couple days we'll break them out and see what we can do, see if we can come up with something. So um, activities, temperature, clarity. Lake level's dropping. Last week I reported it was like 7.6. And as of this morning, it was 7.3. So um, they continue to let water out of the lake, a small amount. And I don't know, again, if that's Yolo County pulling water, if it's some other requirement that they have to let water out, or if it's just the dam leaks, which the dam does leak. So, but it seems like it's an awful lot of water to leak out in just a week you know, a quarter of a foot on this body of water, that's a lot of water. So I'm, I'm suspecting it's probably more deal where YOLO is starting to pull out some of their uh, water allotment. So that takes care of all those goodies. Fishing, fishing has been pretty consistent for us anyway. We're not getting huge numbers, we're not getting huge size. I mean, an average limit is probably 17 and a half to 21 pounds, somewhere in that range. A big fish has been a five pounder, you know, five to five and a half. Just a, most of the fish are just really good, solid. We'll call them two and three quarter to three and a half pounders. Just, I mean, really solid fish. That when you hook them and land them, you would swear that that's the female that's on the nest. And they just don't look that way. They're just really fat, healthy, uh, very good shape. So 
numbers wise slipped a little bit today i think we ended up with 16 or 17 fish today but most of the week we've been catching 20 we'll say plus or minus 20. Um, I think since our last report we had a 25 fish day so I'm very comfortable with those numbers you know it'd be nice to catch 40 but with the size fish that we're catching this year it's just nice to get those kind of numbers it's they're just good solid bags um, you can also find you know I'm finding around the lake some crappie still on beds and uh, they're actually <laughs> I think today just just fan casting around areas I think um, I think Todd had two or three crappie just on a drop shot so I, uh, I had a little goofy crappie bait that I brought back from Tennessee for a trip there and uh, I threw it around a little bit today and actually caught a fish and had a couple of others attack it that it's gonna sound funny but I think the, the hook on this jig is a little bit small for our size crappie so other you know I'm, I'm what's missing I'm not seeing a lot of catfish up shallow which normally this time of year you do see a lot of catfish uh, have not seen very many of them still seeing plenty of carp oh the other thing some we're seeing some bluegill some red ears so it's kind of spread around though so i'm not really seeing concentrations of them everywhere we go it's just you find them here you find them there um one thing that i ended up having to do this year which i've had it for a lot of years but haven't used it is started carrying a push pole i'm finding some areas that i can get into i have a hard time getting back out of <laughs> or just getting around and in my little boat if I'm having a hard time getting around in there full-size bass boats you know the big glass rigs are probably having a worse time so if you have one and you're gonna be fishing up here in the next two or three weeks you might want to throw it in the boat and use it um, you know I think that's it I think that's that's our report for this week so we will talk to you all next week have a great Memorial Day weekend be safe, behave yourselves well enough to where, you know, you can go fishing afterwards. Talk to you next week.